another step on the way, fitted the servo and the rudder. I've actually used the rudder assembly that my friend had already started using in his uh, original build when he started doing it. So I thought I might as well make use of what he'd already done. Uh, you may notice I've got rather a long bit of excess wire sticking out here. That's because I've had an idea. This little fella appeared in one of my very old videos. Uh, he actually gripped onto a zip wire that went down from our bedroom window down to the back fence there with a camera just for the fun of it. I also gave him a beard. <laughs> But I reckon that I can make him stand in the back of the boat and his hand could be on the on the tiller to steer the boat. That's my plan, just to make it a bit of fun. So oh, we're getting closer. This will just be a short video today. At the moment, I'm still linking it into this boat, just so I can check it all works. Obviously, I could just use a servo tester, but I just thought this was an easy way of doing it. I've actually used hot glue to put the servo in place because the little plastic plate it was on seemed a little bit flexible to me. So I've actually put a fair bit of hot glue around it to make it all a little bit more rigid to stop it flexing up and down. He's rocking around a bit at the moment, but I've only just put a few spots of hot glue on his feet to hold him in place. Yeah, he might add a little bit of fun to it. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.